Well, uh, all I know is, uh... Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. I, uh, sent those, uh, telegrams. Uh, now, I, uh... I didn't mean to be deceitful. It's just that, well, you know, I, I, I wanted to talk to all of you just, uh, once more. I'm sorry, Stanley. Uh, I don't know uh, what else we can say except that, uh, well, I, I just guess we were all a bunch of gutless wonders. I feel the same way, kid. My best wishes, Stan. I like you, kid. May I make it unanimous? Sure. Well, thank you. Um, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I think I have to clarify something here. I mean, this is an awake. You know, I sent the telegrams not because this is a finish. It's because it's the beginning. There's a lot of things I think we have to do. I got a lot of confidence from everything that's happened. Chick, maybe we can do some new jokes with the car and the chasing dogs. We could update it a little bit, you know? Carol, could you get Las Vegas with me? I mean, call Jack and set a deal. Whatever you said, it'll be good. Hey, Bruce, what about a new wardrobe? Like a whole Ronald romance. Handsome, I should look. We've got to do... Oh, yeah, and I'm going to need a new secretary, Carol. Uh, don't forget that, because I'm going to need a secretary. You know, you've got to have a secretary. You know, with correspondence and all now that. Now, look here, Stanley. Ellen had absolutely nothing to do with this. Of course not. I wrote that letter, and I signed all the names. Ellen didn't Fine. Need... I still say I need a new secretary. I'm entitled, right? And I want a new secretary. And that's final. Because no wife of mine is going to be working late at night and getting stuck in traffic jams. She's staying home. Taking care of the children and the laundry. Like any other, uh, well, uh, they must be glad about it. So when I say I have a wife that does, she'll and I'll also. Well, don't get mad because I only was teasing. No, don't get, um, I was, uh, what I meant, I just wanted you should, uh, I was fooling. So you're going to need a new secretary. Well, really, Mr. Belt. Well, no, I was the only. And I suppose that's because I'll be too busy with your children. Well, is that it? No, I ain't got none. I mean, but if you'd like to gather a few together, do, do, do you want to put a few together? It would be a good... No. I'd love to, Stanley. And I love you. Well, that's okay. I mean, you're right. Uh, that is, you win. Because I love you, too. But I should be the aggressor. You shouldn't be uh, chasing because... Oh! Aren't you overacting a little bit, Miss Boylan? Down, down. It's a movie. See, I'm fine. The people in the theater know I ain't gonna die. Here, it's a movie state. Here, look at it. See, there's wires and lights, and I'm gonna make more movies, so I couldn't die. It's like a make-believe. It's a dumb city. Mr. Lewis, you are a complete nut. Which reminds me, I'm having nuts and whipped cream for lunch. Would you join me, please? Crew, that's lunch. One hour for the actors and seven days for the technicians. It's a movie set breaking once and for all. The ghost of Thank you.